In an exclusive interview with the Wyoming Palestinian's Prime Minister Mohammad Safeh, White emphasis on urgently bringing an end to the war between Israel and Hamas, which has now entered its ninth week. The Palestine Authority never really left Gaza. Palestine's Prime Minister Mohammad Safeh told Wyon on the sidelines of Doha Forum in Qatari capital on Sunday, December 10. Asked about the talks of Palestine Authority taking up the administrations of Gaza from Hamas, Satya said that the salary of 34,000 Palestinian civil servants in Gaza is paid for by the Palestinian Authority itself. There are important issues that need national consensus, Satya said. Hamas has been the de facto governing authority of the Gaza Strip since its takeover of the blockaded Palestinian enclave in June 2007. The Palestinian Prime Minister said that the United States must ensure an end to the atrocities committed by Israel in the ongoing war. Our focus in our today, today means to stop the war, Satya said. While laying emphasis on the resolutions of Israel-Palestinian conflict, Satya said, when it comes to the day after, the US has been talking about two-state solution. What we want is not another 30 years of negotiations for the two-state solution. We want a mechanism of implementation for Israel to end its occupation that has occurred in Palestinian territories since 1967 and manifest the two-state solution on the border of 1967 where Jerusalem remains the capital of the state of Palestinian. Israeli tanks battled that battled their way to enter of Khan Yunus on Sunday, December 10 in a major new push into the heart of the main city in the southern Gaza Strip. Israel has vowed to annihilate Hamas after militants burst across the fence of October 7 and went on a rampage through Israeli towns, gunning down families in their homes, killing 1,200 people and seizing 240 hostages. Since then, Gaza's health authorities say at least 70,700 people have been confirmed killed in Israeli strikes with thousands more missing and presumed dead under rubble. The toll no longer includes figures from northern parts of the blockaded Palestinian enclave. Beyond the reach of ambulances and where hospitals have ceased functioning. An Israeli siege has cut off supplies with the United Nations warning of mass hunger and disease. At Doha Forum, Arab foreign ministers criticized the United States for vetoing a UN Secretary Council resolution on Friday that demanded a humanitarian ceasefire.